Hi, I'm Jatsy. You don't know me and that's okay. In the last video, I showed you how to set up your avatar, everything from importing to materials to dynamic bones, went over blend shapes, whole nine yards, right? Today, hopefully this will be a shorter video. I'm just gonna show you if you have another outfit that you wanna put on your avatar and you wanna get it set up uh, here in Resonite. Um, not gonna go over toggles, that will be the, the next tutorial that I do. This is just how do you get it on, how do you set that as your as like your default outfit? Um, so again, a couple of things you'll need. First is dev tip right here. I went over in the last video how to spawn one out. Um, so this should be a thing you know how to do by now. Uh, the next thing that you'll need is your uh, current avatar setup, just like we, what we did in the last video. Uh, not the FBX, actually set up as an avatar. Um, you'll also need your next outfit. Um, so, or hair or whatever it is. Um, so you'll need the model and texture files for that. Import them exactly the same way you did with the avatar. Um, important note, they are not separable, snappable pieces. That's for something completely different. Um, so you're going to follow the exact same steps uh, as importing your avatar. You're just not going to turn the outfit into an avatar. Uh, so you're going to take the FBX, apply all the materials and all that other good stuff. Um, once that's there, that's going to be all that you need. Okay. So I've gone through and applied all the materials the same way that we did when we did the actual avatar itself. Um, you're going to see there's stuff sticking out, whatever. Those are just a bunch of different meshes. Don't worry about it. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your dev tip. You are going to hover over the clothing. You're going to select. You're going to open an inspector. And then on the inspector, you're just going to go to the root of uh, the outfit, just like what we did with the model. You're then going to select the model or the avatar and you're going to open another inspector and again you're going to go up to the root now you're going to take the root of the outfit so in our case it's ameris underscore casual costume and this is just a copy i made a copy of the file because i was doing some edits in blender with the original you're going to drop it directly onto the root of your avatar so now you can see we still have this inspector here but the outfit has now been moved under our avatar. You're going to go under the root node of the uh, the new outfit, and you're going to see we have a list of meshes very similar, similarly excuse me, to what we have underneath the root node of the model. You're going to take one of the meshes, and you're now going to make this a child of the root node. So now Jacket has been moved under the root node of, uh, of our model. You're going to go over, and you're going to see this looks exactly the same as what we did before. Pull this up so you can see, right? And generally speaking, outfits will already have empty bone strips, so you need, don't need to worry about that. Now, with this inspector, we're pretty much done with it. So we can go ahead and close that. And what I want you to pay attention to is all these bones here. These bones are currently referencing the armature that imported with the costume itself. So this is the armature with that outfit. We don't want it to, because if we try to put this on right now, the clothes are just gonna sit there and hover and they're not gonna move. So we're gonna grab the armature of our model, just like I've shown you how to do before, and we're gonna open an inspector on our armature, excuse me, on our armature. All right, and you're gonna go through this list of bones that you see here, and you're gonna find them within the armature of your model. So I always start from the bottom. We have upper leg right, upper leg right, and you're just gonna drop it into that field. And you can actually see, if I move these inspectors, part of the outfit is now trying to pull towards our model. That's a good sign, we want that to happen. The other way that you know that something has changed is that these ID numbers will change to match the ID numbers of the armature of your uh, of your avatar. So now we do upper leg left. You can see that that changed. And we can actually see right there another piece of the clothing is pulling towards the model. So we're going to go through all of these, and this can be kind of a, a long, tedious process. Um, there is a mod out there that makes this a heck of a lot easier, uh, and I'll link that in the description of the video. So we got breast R001, breast R, uh, we've got lower arm left, actually lower arm 
Lower arm right, my mistake. I misread that. Lower arm right. Upper arm right. They do typically go in order. Shoulder right. And now we got our left breast and left arm bones. And actually, if I take this down, you can see it's pulling more and more towards the model. That's a good sign. We want that to happen. All right, so now we're on breast L001. Breast L. Lower arm L. Upper arm L. Oh. Shoulder L. Neck. Chest. Spine. Hips. Perfect. So this whole list is done, and if we take a look at the model itself, we do have clipping through of the other dress. We're going to fix that later. But we can see that the jacket, there's nothing left of the green jacket on the, the actual outfit itself, and it's now entirely on our avatar. Good sign. Good stuff. We want this to happen. Um, I'm going to continue doing the rest of these meshes using the exact same methods, just match up the bones that are listed on the mesh with the bones in the avatar's uh, armature, not the armature that ships with the clothing. Um, so let me go ahead and take care of that and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I've gone through all of these meshes. I've moved all of their bones. Actually, let me move that one up to the root node. There we go, not following my own instructions. Okay, so. All of our new meshes have been moved under the root node of our avatar. All of the bone references have been set. All that should be left in this uh, this kind of holder here where it says Ameris Casual Costume Copy FBX um, should just be the old armature. You should not have any meshes that you want to use still in there. They should be up in the root node. Now that everything is here, we can double click on Ameris Casual Costume Copy.FBX and we can just delete this entirely. All of the meshes have been stored onto our avatar. Their bone uh, references have been assigned correctly. We don't need it anymore. Get rid of it. So now up here, we have this big list of meshes. It can get really confusing and really complicated. Let's do organization really quick. Under the root node, of your avatar, you're going to click the Create Child button, which I went over in the last uh, video. We're going to see here we have Root Node Child. We're going to rename this uh, this new child, and I'm just going to call it Tops. And you can either make a duplicate of the slot, you can continue creating children of the slot, doesn't matter. So I clicked uh, the Duplicate button, and we have another slot named Tops. I'm going to rename this to bottoms duplicate that bottoms I'm going to rename this one to shoes duplicate that typically I'll keep my uh, anything relating to my hair and skin in one slot And then I'm gonna make a last one for like accessories, right? So things like bracelets, necklaces, earrings. All right, so we've got all these new slots here, tops, bottom shoes, hair, skin, accessories. And we're gonna start organizing. Now, the thing with a lot of booth models is they will name the face or the head uh, as body, and then the actual body will be the name of the model and then body. So I'm gonna take care of this right now, and I'm gonna rename this slot to face, and it's not gonna break anything. Uh, so I'm gonna take face, and I'm gonna put it under hair and skin. I'm gonna take Ameris Kimono, which I know is the ears, put that under hair and skin. Ameris Hair, under hair and skin. Nurse cap is going to go underneath accessories. Costume top. Now remember, if we ever get confused about what something is, we can just take it. Oh, if we select it first, look at me being silly. 
All right, so we know that it's like the, the sleevey portion of the top. I'm going to call that an accessory. But this is entirely up to you. Whatever you have your, your stuff set to, the shoes are going to go underneath shoes. Costume main apron, I'm going to consider that an accessory. Stockings, consider an accessory. Costume main, I'm going to consider that a top. The body, hair and skin, underwear is an accessory. Bra, accessory. Uh, jacket, accessory. Jean shorts, bottoms, t-shirt, top, neckerchief, accessories, tartan shirt. I'm going to call that an accessory. And you're gonna see why. Uh, tank top, it's gonna to go under tops. The new shoes are gonna go under shoes. The demon wings I'm leaving on their own for a specific reason. Um, me personally, I'm not a fan of the demon wings. Um, <laughs> your mileage may vary, whatever you want to do. I'm just personally not a fan of them. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of anything that you don't want really quick. Uh, we're gonna to go to Ameris Demon. And we're just going to hit delete. The mesh is gone, but we're not quite done yet. If we go into the armature, we can see we have wing root. So the bones for the wings are still there. And I know for me, I, I, I'm not going to want anything to do with the wings. Um, so I am just going to delete the bone chain. It's gone. The model still works. It still moves. Um, I, IK weight is still set to zero. We're going to fix that in a second. But that's how you get rid of stuff. If you have anything you don't want, you just go to the slot, delete the slot, go to the armature, delete any any bones specific to that. If you're deleting something like a shirt and it's got bone references to like your arms and breastbones, don't delete those bones, right? Because you still need them for the rest of your model. That's just specifically to anything that you don't want to keep. Um, so we've gotten rid of that, and now you're sitting there going, "Great, I have this this avatar that's just a big pile of." meshes all combined together so what we're going to do is under accessories I'm gonna, first i'm going to get rid of the nurse cap i'm not going to delete it all together but i'm going to select it and you have a couple different ways to, to go about doing this uh underneath the very top of the slot there is this uh toggle it's a bool just a true false statement uh under active if i uncheck that we can see it disappears if i check it it comes back again. Uh, that's one method to get rid of it. And another thing that I'm going to draw your attention to, you can tell when a slot is inactive because it's kind of faded out compared to the rest of them. Um, so that's one method you can get rid of them. Another method that you can use to hide a mesh is under the skinned mesh renderer. You see we have enabled. If you click that, it's gone. The slot is still active, but the skin mesh renderer is not. Um, personally, I just do... The active, um, it's just cleaner. Uh, so that's how you can hide stuff that you don't want to show, but you're not ready to get rid of yet. Um, so I'm gonna get to work here and I'm just gonna hide all of the nurse clothing, right? So we're just going through anything that was part of the original outfit and we're just gonna hide it all. Right, so under accessories, all we have are the new clothing, hair and skin, we got nothing to worry about there. Under the shoes, we're gonna go to Amara's shoes, which were the original ones, and you can see them clipping through the new shoes. We disable that, and now we're good. We're gonna go to tops, and we're gonna hide costume main. Now we still have a couple meshes that are sticking through. That's because this particular outfit comes with two different tops. If we grab the mesh to take a look, we can see that we have like a t-shirt style um, mesh. And then if we go to tank top, you can see we have something that looks a bit more like a crop top. Um, so if I hide, actually, let me, let's reset our IK weight. Let's reset the IK weight back to one. And we can see our model has fallen in. 
We still have some clipping there. We're gonna fix that. But the first thing that we're gonna do is let's hide the tank top. All right, so the only slot that's active for tops is our t-shirt. If we go to the t-shirt, the t-shirt has this blend shape under here. This is fit underscore shirts. So if I move the model so we can see that mesh clipping through and we slide that up, what that has done is it has shrunken the sleeve to fit with inside the jacket. Um, so now we have no more clipping issues. If I deselect all, and we go into third person again. I don't have a head. That's just to make things easier for you guys to see. And I go here. There's our camera preview. The mesh moves. We do have some more clipping we have to take care of. If we see right there, we got the gray shirt that's sticking through. We're going to fix that right now. So if I hold my hand up here, and then I bring you back to smooth POV, the avatar stays frozen where it was. And let's go to that gray shirt, which I know is the tartan shirt. And we have a bunch more blend shapes here. We're gonna shrink the shoulders. And if we look back up, we've got a little bit more clipping up here, but I don't think we can fix that. I think that's just how the, uh, the outfit author uh, made this one. They didn't include anything to shrink that collar. But that's okay. Um, I'm also going to hide the jacket so you can see what's going on. I know I went over this briefly in the last tutorial. So if I hide the jacket and we look at the shoulders, you can see if we have this cutting and shrinking. If we go back to tartan shirts, we drop that back down, it's back to normal. Um, we can change the length of the sleeve so we can make it a short sleeve plaid shirt. Um, if for whatever reason we need to shrink the elbows, we can do that as well. Um, so that's really where blend shapes kind of come in and that sort of thing. Um, if we go up here to the neckerchief, that's just to fit for the jacket. Doesn't change a whole heck of a lot. Um, and then yeah, for the sake of it, We'll hide it, right? Uh, and we'll hide the tartan shirt as well. Right? So this is the entire outfit. Shoes, shorts, and this is our t-shirt. But remember that to fit the t-shirt into the jacket, we had moved that blend shape. And now it's back to being a t-shirt. Um, so using that method of just hiding whatever active slots will set kind of your your default outfit um we're gonna go over toggles in the next video but keep in mind when you're hiding these slots they still get loaded into memory so before you go crazy adding a bunch of outfits to your avatar remember these are still there these are still running in people's ram they're they're not gone they're just hidden uh the only way to actually get rid of them is to just delete them um but next video we're going to import another outfit uh, and i'm going to show you how to set up some basic toggles so that way if you want to swap clothing or anything like that so if we go like here you can see on mine like i can turn my gloves on and off right um this is i hope this was shorter i hope this is more helpful um again if you have any questions post them in the comments you can come find me in game i'm here to help blah 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 blah